So, yeah, Nomad was just kind of hanging around. But one of these players will be eliminated. We've got Radiant giving us yet more Roy gameplay after the last couple. But Enzo, not necessarily been using Joker all tournament, but we'll definitely use it here to try and get the best of Radiant. Enzo doesn't have a, uh, a Roy. You know. uh, he has a Lucina, he has a Wolf, he has a Bayonetta as well in the pocket. Uh, his Sephiroth, I think, we saw yesterday in the pools as well. Yeah, we did. But, uh, it didn't work out too great for him overall as the test one on Pensy's in this tricky predicament where the loser of the set will go home, but we could probably have another game three before it gets to that point. For now, Radiant just sniffing out the way Enzo is going to play, pretty much blocking all of uh, the Ahars and such, but Arsen is about to make his difference for the first time. Yeah, so far, no interaction has been affected by Arsen. Everything has either been uh, blocked or dodged. The get-up attack there on this mark. Try to go for the drag down there, but doesn't hit it. And Raiden actually reading correctly that tech chase situation in order to get the first stock of the set. Enzo trying to set up a ledge edge guard there, but doesn't concrete it. And now is Raiden the one who's waiting for the ledge trap? Finds the neutral V in the two frame and but tries not to repeat it. Second time, yeah. yeah. We had Enzo hugging all the way to the left hand side just to mix it up. We get an up gun Whoa. kill in Super Smash Brothers Ultimate. Enzo, you madman, I've never seen that before. But if you're going to get that, like one of the characters you're going to be able to get that on is Roy for sure. Like. Its recovery is not that far reaching. You know, if you eat the the double jump, it's pretty much a down kill. I'm now going for a more traditional down gun, but doesn't find his mark with a jab just to reset the momentum there and keep Radiant falling down. That's not a trade you want to go for with back air to back air. Though Roy going to get more damage out of that one. Yeah, Radiant has a pretty comfortable advantage right now with. Almost an entire stock. Enzo has a couple of chances with this percent and actually takes them. Now, Radiant is styling a little bit in order to defeat Arsene's uh, meter, but actually, Enzo is finding a couple of good hits until he counters for no reason and then uh, Radiant manages to punish it. He's fishing for the jab backer setup. But Enzo is not letting himself be hit by that. Yes, jab back air once again. It feels like it's burned into my brain over the course of today. But yeah. another one of them would probably end the set. So Enzo definitely got to be on watch. Ugh, just making it back. Yeah. Sometimes you see uh, Joker going so deep and behind the ledge, actually. Like, Enzo someone who does it quite often as well. He always tries to go almost hogging the, the side of the stage, but Radiant is going to find the mark with that. I think it was a backer, but, you know, it was so quick, I, I wasn't able to distinguish. Yeah, I'm pretty anything. confident it was, but um, Enzo was barely getting to use Arsene in that one. It was still taking it close just with Vanilla Joker by himself, but... Um, do you think Enzo would stick to Joker here and maybe hope for a bit more Arsene, or would he just change characters? You know, well, at this point, music, at this point, you, like you just take the character you feel more more comfortable with. I was thinking that it would be Wolf, but he's sticking to Joker. Like this is potentially the last game of the tournament of the entire band for Enzo. So he has to really make sure that he's in the right call here. And he's instead just getting coast to coast, slashed a bit by Roy's aerial, 59% right on the gate. Arsene's about to appear, but he's got a lot of work to do to make up for that pretty poor start. Yeah, unless he manages to get one of those safeguards that you could get at pretty much any percentage, you still have to 
oh, get uh, Roy into that spot in order to attempt something like that. But 49% of Radeon, mm. Radeon. Um, like it's not on. It's not impossible for Enzo actually. Like he's quite even right now. We got jab back here coming from Radiant. Enzo recovering, well. but Radiant always with his Roy signature ledge trapping. Oh, but the grab, Joker, too slim on the profile to actually get captured. But the F tilt, nevertheless, has given Radiant a big stock advantage in potentially avoiding a best of three, a, an actual game three for once. Oh, big F smash Whoa. though! Enzo is straight back in it with that one. Yeah, he probably like Radiant wasn't doing the correct DI in that one, uh, judging by how like sudden it was. Radiant finding the back here, like the downer to back here. Tries to go for the neutral B, finds the jab backer. This is edge guard situation, but probably will wait for the ledge trap. Enzo recovers with an Aha. Whoa. No, punish on Roy yeah, yeah, is pretty curious, but he's trying to go for something maybe a bit more adventurous. Instead, neutral gets up right into Roy's neutral air. Enzo, we haven't seen any down Bs. Interestingly, considering Radiant has been fairly aggro, all things considered. Yeah, that's something on his playstyle. He's always trying to jump in, approach, and get the hits. Um, and so, I don't know, he probably is just concentrating on not being demolished. But, you know, Radiant with a pretty comfortable stock advantage. Now we see Enzo with Arsene, like this is his chance to take the stock. He doesn't have a jump. And yeah. that's why Radiant will fall to his doom. L I like the decision to say, look, I'm probably dead. I'm just going to do the upbeat early and get some extra damage to help dwindle away Arsene and help with the next stock um, instead of just waiting to get Joker back here. And there's a yeah. back air. Whoa. Just living his Enzo's, keeping his tournament hopes alive. But can you get past Roy when he's commanding this side of the stage? Yeah, this is a pretty dangerous situation for Enzo because Arsene is like halfway there and he's still at a really high percentage. He has to do something to get Arsene earlier in order to try and botch something. But it's looking really rough. If he survives the next interaction, we could see probably we have it. And so eliminated from the event. Yeah, that is the last of our four eliminations happening today then. We've lost Steven, we've lost Enzo, we've lost Giovanni, and we've lost Charlie. So those are the fallen soldiers who officially finish 17th here at Cumbre 2. Hey, you still got top 20, right? Yeah. Top 20 at a Lumi rank C tier. I like the sound of that. Let me in the bracket. I'll have 17th at a Lumi rank C tier. Easy peasy. But yeah, big, big stuff.